ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Lord Nod. I am right now in a big cubicle with the big guys from Massive. This is Tom Clancy's The Division. And if you've not heard about that, this is at E3, personally, one of the best games that are there. I wanted to tell you about this, but what we're going to do is get these guys in onto it and let them go ahead and uh, tell us. Tell us who you are. I am Niklas Siderstrom. I'm the creative director of the project. Uh, hello, India. I'm Ryan Bernard. I'm the game director on Tom Clancy's The Division. Well, guys, these are the big guys. I have to go ahead and do this. We have to go ahead and bow to reality. But the, this is the royalty for all the guys who wanted to go ahead and look at The Division and said, oh my god, I want to go ahead and get that game right now. So tell us about the game. Tell us first about the premise of the game. This is this is this is very stark, very real future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when we when we had opportunity to start making the the division or Tom Clancy's division, we sat down and wanted to figure out what can we do to make it different. And we brainstormed a lot about it, and then we've come up with the concept of fragility of society. And what that means is that we have a very complex world that we're living in. We have our smartphones, we have our food in the refrigerator, we have water in the taps. We just go down the corner and we can buy whatever we want to. But in our world, a deadly pandemic has struck New York City. And you know how it is when you're sick and you're home, you can't go to work. Just tune that to 11. You know, it's way, way worse than it's ever been. And half of New York is just at home, can't do anything, just knocked out. And that means that there is no transportation going to, to the food stores, people don't go to the power plants, and everything starts failing around you. And that's the domino effect that we're describing in the game. And then, when that happens, you're going to live in a mid-crisis. No one is picking up the garbage. There is no food to get. And that turns people into desperate people. And that really means that also a lot of the stronger individuals in the world will prey on the weak. So there's a lot of factions and gangs coming up in, in throughout New York City. And then is, that's when our agents, uh, the division agents, are activated. And they come in and try to save what remains. So when you get into this game, and this is very stark, because some of the gamers who are out there, and I'm giving other examples, DayZ mod for Arma, you know, very real, very, very sure. realistic, sure. Uh, that came in. Um, how does the entire Tom Clancy angle come into this? Uh, well, uh, CC touched a little bit uh, on that. Um, it was uh, kind of a, a, an opportunity for us within Ubisoft. Uh, you know, Ubisoft always wants to uh, uh, pursue projects and of course they're very proud of the, the Clancy suite of games um, and we came to them with a, a twist and a new angle on that and you know basically uh, I would say it was a year and a half ago or so and you know came came to them with like here's what we think will make uh, will fit within the suite of Clancy units it's a new Clancy unit it's a new universe it's a new premise and uh, they were like go for it we love it so uh, that's that's what started the whole uh, the whole process I guess so that's why we're Clancy, because we love Clancy and we love RPG games, and we think the fit of those two together is perfect. I agree. I think it is phenomenal. And what we saw from the demo is you start off as a squad, so tell us more about the co-op play. Okay. Well, one of the key elements uh, within the game is multiplayer. So of course you can play the whole game all the way to max level at, uh, by yourself if you want, but what we really want is players to group up. We want team play and uh, uh, find with, through matchmaking or friends to be very, very important and meaningful and rewarding. So uh, obviously for our gameplay demo, we're going to be showing the co-op uh, uh, features and aspects. So, you know, voice over IP, we show the coordination of the skills between the different group mates, uh, how you can switch up on the fly depending on what the other members of your uh, team have. Uh, we, we gave you a little sneak peek at the, the tablet um, application we have for the game, which is real time with, with the actual main game. Um, so it's, it's a core element for the game. We want multiplayer to be a great uh, rewarding experience for our players. Well, at the end of the multiplayer, which was looks for uh, looks phenomenal. Just one more question: It is four-player co-op. It's four-player co-op plus tablet, so five is a full group. Oh, five is a full group. Five, not four, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. four players and then the tablet. Yeah. Right, it's like the uh, yeah. the support stuff. Uh, well, then we're super proud of our tablet gaming. Since we're as soon as we figured out we were going for next generation of consoles, we we said we have to do something that's really next gen with the tablets and the smartphones. So what we wanted to do was have the interaction be real time, as Ryan mentioned uh, briefly. So what you do is that you log in with your, uh, your on your tablet. You have your separate progression, and you have a drone that you can control in real time together with the HD gamers. So you can be at work or on the bus or whatever. As soon as you have an internet connection, you're playing in real time, and you see the battlefield from a bird's eye perspective. 
and you can see where enemies are, you can tag them, you can debuff them, and you can even shoot at them. Or you can help your friends by buffing their skills and abilities and even heal them. Everything is in real time and it's just amazing and something we're really proud of. And you call this what mode? Companion gaming. So there you go. So four player co-op and companion gaming gives you five cool players to go ahead and work together with. It's so, but like a four point tablet. Four point tablet, hey, nice, nice one, I like that one. So at the end of the preview, you, you hinted at something and you teased something. So I saw this another squad coming in and then it just panned out that there's loads of squads. Tell us more about that. Okay, well, uh, the... Uh, how do I put this? Uh, <laughs> uh, how we want to address PvP in the division uh, is we want to do something a little bit new and kind of uh, bring, uh, I guess, some of the hardcore elements of different games into a more mainstream experience. Uh, what we're not going to be doing is separating out our player versus player into multiplayer versus single player, which a lot of games do. So PvP in the division will be part of the main core experience, and there'll be places out in the world where that could happen because New York is a dangerous place uh, but the details of how that will work will be releasing uh, later later on teasing us teasing us they like doing this we love going and getting teased too so tell us uh, more about the commercial uh, more about the launch dates more about the platforms you're coming out of we're currently scheduled for a 2004 uh, winter 2014 release date and it's coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox one PlayStation. But, we, but we are not ruling out any other platforms PC, all you guys who love this, go ahead and write down below. You have to say PC, Xbox, or the PS. You have to tell us which ones you really love. In case you want to go ahead and say hi to these guys, also uh, click down below and say your comments. Guys, this has been wonderful. It's been great to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the game. Bye, guys. And this is Lord Nod signing off.